you know, I, uh, I got this to work one time to finish a project. I wonder if it'll work to clean one up. Shazam! <laughs> hey, that worked out pretty good. Got rid of everything but what I needed. Awesome. All right, guys, we got these motors completely stripped down. I'll show you that real quick. They are completely stripped down. I just set these uh, tracks there to give you some idea of, you know, they'll probably have to be a little farther apart. And I believe the motors will be stood up like this. Uh, whatever frame I build, I'll just put a piece of, uh, looks like maybe three quarter or one inch tube. I'll just stick it straight up in the air. That way I have room on the front for the batteries. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to stick the tracks here. You know, of course they're not lined up with the shaft, but now we'll move the tracks and we'll show you what the motor looks like. So there was a stanchion that mounted on here and came up to support this. This was actually, oh, I don't know, another four inches taller. So it would come up out of the body on the scooter. Um, but we uh, cut them, shortened them and bent them so that we still had the option to click them in and out of gear, but just on a shorter. And uh, we stripped all the wires off, except for the two wires that we need. The other two wires are for the brakes. You'll see that in the video. But the main reason I'm doing this video is, uh, the reason I don't show when I'm actually working is because, man, I look like a, I look like a ruptured duck. Uh, you know, I don't have all my tools set there and I don't have the knowledge to know what I'm getting ready to get into. And you'll see in this very next clip, uh, when I did have everything kind of set up, all my tools there, nothing ever works out right because uh, none of the uh, Allen heads would pop loose. They stripped the Allen heads. I ended up bringing it over here. You'll see it. But that's why I don't really show uh, what I'm doing. I always fast forward stuff because I'm out here for hours and hours messing with this stuff and uh yeah you guys would definitely get bored watching all that you probably bored already just listening to this so here we go here comes uh the rest of the video <laughs> do i know what i'm doing i don't know all right so first thing i want to do is uh i want to cut this end off of here and then we'll pull this black plastic sheathing off of here expose all four of, of our wires and then we're going to cut these wires and uh, these are the wires that go to the electric brake and then uh, let's see if I can spin this around a little bit so I had a red and a black and then I had two white wires inside this sheath which went to that plug right there um, and I just cut the two white wires from the electric brake and now we can pull those right out of there and they are gone. All right, the next step is gonna be to get an Allen wrench and we are going to take the three Allen screws out of here. We're gonna do that right now. Let's see if I got the right size here. Nope, need the next one down. Of course I can't get it with my finger. I'm trying to dig it out of there and I can't get it. Uh, let's see if I can get it with a piece of wire. Now we got her, all right. So we're gonna flip that one out. And take these three out. And they are in there pretty good. I think I just popped that loose. Nope, I just stripped that one. And uh, when they put these things together, they darn sure don't put them together as if you want to take them apart. So it looks like all three of these are going to strip out for me. 
Yep, they just stripped. And my dog just threw up. Let me take care of him real quick. All right, let's try this again. I don't think that I have to get these three out. They all three stripped. We're gonna go to the next size up and go to the center. And I don't think they want me to use this motor, to be honest with you. Or they don't want me to live do this because all I'm doing is turning the damn motor over. Unbelievable. All right, so what would be my next step? I guess to go to these. Well, I thought this is what it looked like when you knew what you were doing. Apparently, I don't know what <laughs> I'm doing. Let's see if this gets anything out of my way. I don't think it's going to because I think these three have me held in there. it wants me to take this one apart. Well, it looks like we may have to move this to the uh, workbench. Four to six days later. Well, can I just say that it is not getting any better over here. And I guess that's how you remove a brake system from a uh, wheelchair motor. <laughs> Four to six more days later. And here we go. That one may be a little more torquey. Here we go. That's clockwise. And counterclockwise so there you go guys we got two good motors the next step is i'm going to take these wheels off strip the hubs and see what i have for a shaft and then we'll see what we need to adapt this shaft to the drive units on those track units <laughs> 